welcome. This question says, find the force exerted by reflecting a light, beam of light, off of a mirror. The mirror is perpendicular to the beam of light, and the mirror has a cross-sectional area of 3.7 square meters, and the light beam has an intensity of 2.6 times 10 to the 5 watts per square meter. So here's the, if you like, the light beam coming in, and it hits the mirror. And then we have the light beam coming out, because it's reflected. And we can say, well, we have the intensity of light is equal to 2.6 times 10 to the 5 watts per square meter. And we can say the area of the mirror. And I'm showing the light just coming in as one, one beam in, one beam out. But, you know, there'd be there'd be you know, light going past and light been reflected and light been reflected and light been reflected and light going past. So the bigger the mirror, the bigger the effect. So the area matters. So the area is equal to 3.7 square meters. So our principle, our principle is that for reflection, the pressure is equal to uh, 2 times the pointing vector of the speed of light. And we also remember that our intensity is equal to our average pointing vector. So I can say, let's do some rearrangement here. So I can say, oh, well, our pressure is equal to uh, 2 times my intensity over the speed of light. But I don't want the pressure, I want the force. Well, f no, the principle, you know, pressure equals force per unit area. So if I introduce that, I can say my force per unit area is equal to 2 times the intensity of the speed of light. And so my force is equal to 2 times the intensity of light over the area of the mirror divided by the speed of light. If I put numbers in, I see I get my force is equal to 2, and my intensity is 2.6 times 10 to the 5, and then I have my area, and my area is 3.7 over my speed of light, and my speed of light is 3 times 10 to the 8. So if I get my calculator, I get 2 times 2.6 second e to the 5, enter, times 3.7, enter, and then I'm going to divide that by, divided by 3 second e to the 8, and I'm going to get 6.4 times 10 to the minus 3. Minus 3. And of course, so what are the units? Well, I've been working in SI units throughout, so my units are newtons. Pretty intense beam. <laughs> 2 times 10 to the 2.6 times 10 to the 5 watts per square meter, but you know. Um, uh, small, relatively small force. So there we have it. Um, uh